What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. 5728. I'm coming at y'all with another video. Man, I appreciate um, all the subscribers I've been getting. We almost at 1K. We at 899 from this video. So please don't forget to show your boy some love. You know, like, share, comment. Do whatever y'all gotta do, man. We almost at a thousand subscribers. I'm doing the 1K giveaway. Don't miss out, man. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's get to the video. Let's see what we got to the new collection. <laughs> Yo, I've been waiting on this, man. Y'all know. Some of y'all might know what this is. Some of y'all might not know what this is. But let's get to it. You know, like I do all my videos, straight to the point, man. Nothing behind the bushes. Y'all ready for this, man? Let's get it. Okay, so what comes in the box? You get the manual. You also get a lot. And then you also get one magazine, 20 round magazine. Man. All right, so let's put that to the side. Now. For the final touch that everybody is waiting on. Let's put this box to the side. Because we don't need it no more. Okay. Alright, so this is the Ruger 5.7. Got a caliber behind it. Which everybody should know, Mr. 5'7 by 28, man. This thing is a beauty. Let's press check it, get the flag. We don't need that. Now, all right, so out of the box, first look and everything that I see, you know, let me try to see if I can get a pro con. So the pro. It's 5.7 by 28. That's number one. Number two, the magazine capacity. Everybody should know, 20 rounds. You also get, you know, it says 5, 10, 15, 20. And then you have 6, 11, and then 16. To, like, really know how many rounds you get in the, in the firearm. Um, second, I see you get the fiber octa sights. Um, I love these sights, man. I definitely could pick these up. You know, easy. Um, especially in daytime. You get the optic cutout, which actually Ruger, you had to go on Ruger website and order it from Ruger, which I don't mind doing that. The only one that I think is available right now is the Burst Fire. Um, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, is the 300 or it's, it's something like that. 300X, something like that. I'm not too sure. Um... So it is empty, nothing in the chamber. You get front serrations to press check it, which I love. Um, you get, Ruger says this is a 1911 style um, safety, which I love. I love this right here. Man, when I was at the uh, gun store picking this up from my FFL, I was messing with the trigger. Oh man, when I say this trigger, in my opinion, you know, anybody else, y'all don't have to take my opinion or if if, if you held a 5.7, because I have an FM 5.7 too, everybody should know that. Um, this trigger, hands down, is the best trigger. Um, it's better than the FM 5.7, in my opinion. Way better than the FM 5.7, hands down. Um, so let's see the trigger pull on it. Wall, break. Reset. Reset is kind of like, you know, uh, pull it back. 
is the best trigger. FN trigger is okay. I give it that. It's, it's definitely okay, in my opinion. Man, you get the rough texture, uh, stipple, you know, kind of like the Security 9. I wasn't a big fan of the Security 9, um, but I kind of like it. it. It feels really light. Like, it feels great. It feels like a better quality than the FN, because, you know, the FN is more like, has like polymer on it, you know. So, my opinion, this thing feels great in the hand. You know, it's kind of wide because it shoots these rounds right here. These are SS197 SR, which we can take a look at it. Put this down. Take a look at the round. So, this was coming out. These are blue tip. I love these rounds. I also had a one uh, SS198 LF. And I have the Black Fangs and my FM57. These, you know, these sport rounds, you know, shooting at the ring, stuff like that. I mean, I, me personally, I wouldn't use these for self defense, which I, I'm gonna load these up into this and, you know, shoot a box of 50 and see how it does. But um, from doing my research, the Ruger, man, just like Kuhn Yor said, man, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Thirteen hundred dollar gun to a seven hundred dollar gun. I'm just saying, <laughs> for real. So, yeah, man. Like, it's easy to you know take down stuff like that. You know, um, it's just it's just shocking, y'all. It, it really it really <laughs> it really shocked me, man. When I when I was coming home. You know, I was just messing around, playing with it. Um, it. It really shocked me. Like, I really wasn't interested in Ruger. I can say this is a nice quality, you know, firearm to pick. And it's a nice price. If nobody don't want to pay, you know, 1300 for an FN57, that it's the same thing as this, but I feel like this is better. I'm just saying. Just like <laughs> New York said, I'm just saying, and I give it, I give it to Ruger, man. Ruger did his thing. I really don't like Ruger. Look how slim this is. I wish I had my FM with me, but I really wasn't. I really wasn't thinking, but FM would be like this much bigger onto it. Yeah, like this much bigger. I mean, this thing is a beauty. Like you, you really had to like see this in person, I mean, it may look kind of like big, you know, first con, the only con that I can think of, and it's not really a con because, you know, five sevens, you know, pistols, they have to have a longer barrel on them, it's just the barrel length, that's what kind of like turned me off on it, but I really don't mind it no more, but I definitely wanted to bring you this review and show y'all my new pistol, man, Mr. Five Seven by 28 has a Ruger 5.7 now. This thing, let's see the magazine drop out. Let's see how freely the magazine will drop out. Just like the FN. Just like the FN. Yep. Response, just like the FN. Safety, I feel like in my opinion, is better than the FN because the FN safety is right here. You get the cutout, man. And the only reason they did this, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong about this too, is to um, just to make sure the gun would first function perfect. You know, that's why they did this cutout right here, just so it would be functioning a one. And especially if you wanted to add a dot on it, it won't have no problems. Like if you, um, from what I've seen, you know, a lot of people don't want to um, put an optic on the FN because it'll add weight to the slide and it won't cycle right. So that's the only thing about, you know, FN pistols and the 5.7 pistol, but they did the cutout and they did it They did it right, man. They did it right, man. I can say F, uh, Ruger, y'all did y'all thing on this, man. That is it right there, 5.7 by 28. Oh, and one more thing before we wrap this up, man. Another reason why I picked this pistol up 
is because, let's see, nothing in the chamber. It fires without a magazine. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? It fires without a magazine. Yes, the FN does not fire without a magazine inserted into the gun. I don't like that about FN. I don't like that about FN. I don't like that. That a magazine, you, you paying $1,300 for a gun that doesn't fire without a magazine inserted in the gun. I don't like that. I don't like that. Ruger, you did your thing on this. Uh, hands down. Ruger, you did your thing on this, Ruger. You did your thing on this, Ruger. Really, he <laughs> did your thing. So, I'm going to take these rounds. You know, these, these man, when I say these rounds is expensive, this is a box of 50. Spent at least like 75, 60 on Gun Broker. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people going to ask me in the comments where you get your ammo from. I got it from Gun Broker. Um, another $15 charge fee, you know, stuff like that. So, I got mines off of Gun Broker. But I don't want to make this video too long. Y'all can hit me in the comments. You know, I'll respond to everybody and everyone. Um, Y'all be safe out here. You know, it's about to be a second lockdown. Y'all stay safe. Wear y'all masks. Um, another thing, please don't forget to subscribe to your boy. I'm trying to bring y'all as much content as I can. You know, like I said, I'm a central worker, so I still had to be working, man. So don't forget to show love. And I'm out, man. Let's get it.